Herzlich willkommen zu Hello and welcome to Intersolar TV and our coverage of day two of the Intersolar Europe 2010. Today is all about directly transforming solar energy into electrical energy by means of solar cells. That was the official definition for photovoltaic. Photo is clear, that stands for light. In ancient Greek, and I don't need to explain voltaic, volt. That's the term for electrical potential. And now we'll show you what's new in this sector at the Intersolar Europe 2010. The expansion of the photovoltaic sector set a new record in the last year. The branches in correspondingly high spirits. Naturally, at the Intersolar, the manufacturers display their most innovative modules. These modules are constantly becoming more powerful, more efficient, and last but not least, thinner. Solarian AG is one of the leading companies. Its modules are thin, light, and unbreakable. These are the thinnest solar cells in the world. We cut off thin layers which all belong to a single CIGS solar cell. We process these on 25 micrometer plastic bases together with let's say 5 micrometer active layers. This creates a 30 micrometer thick solar cell and that functions well. Sputnik Engineering is presenting new products in the inverter sector, which promises great flexibility and maximum energy yields. This is a new modular concept which enables you to control up to four large inverters with one central control unit, so that you only have one unit visible and yet you have flexible performance. As a result, you can build any facility from 330 kilowatt up to 1.3 megawatt. Intelligent energy consumption control is a major issue in the branch. Fronius presents a groundbreaking concept, clever networking for the electricity requirements within one's own house. An energy management system which predicts the photovoltaic yield, costs from the power grid and then intelligently steers the consumers which do not necessarily have to run all the time, such as washing machines, water boilers, dishwashers, where users simply enter that they want to run it once today. However, the system decides when it runs to reduce the cost and increase the consumption of the house's own electricity. The innovativeness of the photovoltaic branch ensures its continuing growth. At the best, homeowners will soon be able to free themselves from their dependence on the increasing electricity costs of the major providers. You may have asked yourself the question, what do you do if your roof is already covered with solar modules and yet you still want to collect even more of this solar energy? Now I am here at Solar World with Michael Schmidt and he has an idea for you. If you want to collect even more solar energy, then a sun carport like this is a good idea. This is a carport with an integrated photovoltaic system with a 2 kilowatt peak. Naturally, you can route this electricity into the power grid just like any other photovoltaic system. If we look into the future, then I can imagine the key word here is electromobility, that you can also connect this directly. This is only a layman's perspective. Is that even possible? From a technical perspective, it is somewhat difficult to charge the battery in the car directly. However, the actual energy equivalent there is sufficient, so you truly can use the energy which this carport generates, even in Germany, to drive 30 kilometers a day with a plug-in hybrid, for example. This is possible. And this represents the average mobility requirement of a person in Germany. So there is no end to the possibilities. Thank you, Mr. Schmidt. Efficiency, sustainability and quality. Three words which are not only immensely important for the development but also for the production itself. That is why there is a separate hall for the photovoltaic production technologies here at the Intersolar Europe 2010. And now we will show you just what is happening there. Launched in 2009, expanded into a cooperation with the PV Group this year. The separate hall for exhibitors from the photovoltaic production and technology sector. A truly successful model because it makes long journeys unnecessary for customers. This perfectly combines the broad range of offers in this increasingly important sector. It is very good that everything from one branch is combined into a single hall, because this also serves to combine synergies and can create interesting interconnections. The advantage is that we can address precisely the right target group, namely the customers that are truly looking for us. As we see it, the primary advantage lies in the fact that the customers can find us more quickly and more easily. They only have to go into a single hall. We have experienced an extremely positive response. The exhibitors present their machines and facilities for the complete value chain for wafer, cell and module manufacturing. 
and in times of decreasing feed-in tariffs, these have to become increasingly effective. The economical use of raw materials and production automation are regarded as the keys to success. Everything to the benefit of the consumer. Customers can rely on the fact that the detailed knowledge base which we integrate into our production technology ultimately improves the quality standard of their end products and is then available to them. If we succeed in achieving grid parity in the coming years, then this will create a massive market for both end users and for the manufacturers. It's particularly important today because naturally there is a trend in the industry towards integration and automation as these are the focal cost areas. Here you can reduce the costs not only for the individual machine but above all for the entire production line. In summary, the idea of providing a separate hall for the sector is just as efficient as the faster, shorter and thus more cost-effective photovoltaic system manufacturing. That's all for us from our coverage of day two of the InterSolar Europe 2010. Tomorrow we will be looking at solar heating. As you can see, people are also having a lot of fun here at the InterSolar Europe. So I am off for another turn at the Sunways stand. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then.